How's it going, guys? And welcome to Week 1 Wednesday, or as we like to call it... I live for it. Every month, I live for it. I live for it every month. Uh, today on WOW, we are going to be talking about small EDC knives. Now, last month we talked about big EDC knives, uh, so you guys wanted to talk small EDC knives, so here we are and we're doing it. Um, as always, Week 1 Wednesday is brought to you by We Knives. If you don't know why that's important, that means this is your first WOW. Welcome! And hold on till the end. I promise it's worth your time. Now, when we do WoW, we always kick it off with some new arrivals. And the new arrivals we have on the table don't necessarily fall in line with what we're doing. So, if you're not watching live, there's going to be a little timestamp down below. Click that bad boy. That'll jump you right into brand new EDC small knives. But Kurt, what do you have for new, new arrivals right now? What's I have, the first knife? I have a fixed blade. Oh, love it. And it's the Guardian 3 with that Nitro V Steel, Ooh. baby. Sweet little blade HQ exclusive oh right there. Oh my goodness gracious. Now, we have a couple handle flavors. Mm -hmm. We got this blue, and then we have a red. Yeah. And different blade uh, coatings. Oh, okay. So, Nitro V, this is a cool three and a half inch blade. It actually fits in my hand pretty good. I don't know about this little cutout right here. That, that kind of rubs me the wrong way. But, $189, Nitro V, on the website, this is a sweet, sweet fixed blade, and it comes with an awesome sheath. Yeah, it comes scout carry right out of the box. That's right. Mm, love it. All right, uh, so the first one that I have on the table is also a fixed blade. We actually have a lot of new arrival fixed blades that we're excited about. Uh, so this one is from QSP, um, and I have my papers backwards over here, so I'm going to shuffle real quick. Uh, this one's from QSP. This is called the Workaholic. Uh, this is the first time I've handled this knife. So I'm just going to look at the sheet because I don't know much about this thing. She did it. It's a brand new, new arrival. Uh, so it's got a Bowler N690 blade. Uh, I'm assuming this is a Micarta. Yep, Micarta handle. It goes for 85 bucks on the website. So Bowler N690, uh, full tang. It's nice and, and rounded, not too sharp anywhere around. So it wouldn't be good for striking, but really comfortable for working a lot. Hence, workaholic. Workaholic. <laughs> And uh, yeah, just a, just a really comfortable knife in hand. Uh, I like the way the micarta feels. Nice big choil up front, and it comes with what is seemingly a pretty nice leather sheath. So I haven't worn it. I can't I can't attest to its full quality. But out of the box, for eighty five bucks, N six ninety, and micarta handle with a leather sheath, it seems like a win. Done. So pretty cool. QSP has been doing some interesting stuff lately. Like they got the penguin and a couple other kind of right. interesting knives. Yeah. I'm into that one actually. It fits my hand really well. Cool. And I like that. Oh yeah, you harder. did you did some photos of it recently, didn't you? Right. Yeah. Yep. Right on. Okay, what else you got? Okay, up next for new arrivals. This is kind of a new arrival. It's more like a revival. Mm, true. This is the Benchmade Hidden Canyon Hunter. I've seen this before. Why how is this new? Uh well, I don't know if you know this or not, but Benchmade is changing their hunt series, and we're getting a whole slew of new hunt knives. And that is neat. Now, this one's cool, this is my favorite. It's got this, oh, gorgeous leather sheath. It's a little different from the last one, so if you have a Hidden Canyon, this is gonna be a big difference. Um, also, I could be wrong, but I swear this part of the handle is new. Mm, like a little bit, little it, smoother, maybe, dude, it or fits my four fingers. Huh? Four. Interesting. Well, three, three and a quarter. Three and a bit. Three and a half. <laughs> but I love this knife, and there is no reason you shouldn't have this knife. It is perfect for on the go. It's got your belt loop, snap. It's got their uh, compressed wood, or it's a uh, stabilized wood. Mm -hmm. They used to call it the diamond wood. Right. Um, and a S30V blade. Nice. For 136 on the site. Right on. Right on. All right. And then for the last round in our new arrivals, now my papers are in order. Uh, I've got the Boker XXL Kalashnikov. That's right. The XXL Kalashnikov. <laughs> so we've got this thing in a couple different uh, colors on the website. I think it's got a, uh, a blacked out version, black handle satin blade, and then of course, the, the Desert Warrior. Now, we have heard from a few of you that it needs the Desert Warrior treatment. I feel like this would be a maple bar. Dude, that would be a maple you bar. You know what I mean? Like, if we were to do this, it'd be a maple bar for sure. So, oh, I'm just yeah. saying, ah, maybe maybe we've tossed it around. Maybe we're looking at what that... I don't know. I don't know. Can't, can't we'll say. See. <laughs> but uh, you can get these on the website right now. $62.95. does come with D2 steel. 
huge buoy blade. And uh, you know, here's the thing. For how big this thing is and for how affordable these Kalashnikovs are, we all know that we're big fans of these knives. Hits nice, man. Like it doesn't try to fly out of your hand, but that thing hits. Like it's it really is, good. It is so big. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Huge. Yeah, I'm into it. Um, so you can get yourself an XXL Kalashnikov on the website right now. I think they dropped like two days, yesterday. I think they dropped yesterday. So get them while you can. They are going pretty quick, which is, yeah. which is a good thing, but uh, definitely something you want. Um, so that's all of our new arrivals. Welcome to WOW. If you're just joining us, welcome to Week 1 Wednesday. We are talking about small EDC knives. Uh, we have Alex in the comments, so if you guys have any comments, I've got her right here. There's one right here that we'll read in just a second. And if you want to shout out, uh, you got a cool story, whatever, let us know. And Alex will feed them to me here and uh, give you guys some shout outs while we're talking. Um, this is a technical shout out that Alex has. Apparently, they're saying that Jamie's or Kurt's audio is quiet. My audio's quiet. Which isn't normal. Usually, Kurt is at a very high level. Definitely, <laughs> my voice is large and it moves. Far. In charge. Yes. So there, that's what I did. <laughs> yes. Um, so, you know, Jamie's... I'll just Jamie's, talk louder. Yeah, Jamie's the video god here. I'm sure he'll figure right. it out. I figured we'd just jump into this thing. Yeah, let's just do it. Okay, so small EDC knives. What do you got? What's what's your first one you got? We've got a lot of knives. We got a lot of knives. A lot of knives. And these most of these knives were suggested by you guys. We got in a bit of a time crunch. This is what happens with live shows. So we weren't able to write everybody's name down, but almost every single knife on the table came suggested from you guys. So... What's the first one on the table? I'm just gonna shout out to all the viewers right now. I know. Yeah, I'm sure you you guys are on there. You want to see a knife? Boom. Yep. Shout out. Boom. That was like a blanket shout out. I love it. Blanket <laughs> shout out. <laughs> all right. I have got the Guardian Tactical GTX 025. Now, I like this knife. Yeah. It's the same smooth action as all the Guardian Tacticals. Your Recon 35. Um, the big dog. I think it's the 045, isn't four it? 045? Yeah, yeah. That, made, that would make sense. Um, this thing is actually really cool. It's got your glass breaker. It's got a single screw pocket clip. Um, I'm, I'm not crazy about the pocket clip, but I do like that it's smaller. Hmm. I wish I had this pocket clip on my Recon 35. Interesting. But super smooth. You get the milling here, here and you get some uh, nifty little milling on the blade. Elmax steel, and uh, this is a two and a half inch blade, and that fits in the hams. Yeah, and that fits in the hams pocket. <laughs> there you go, right? And I like these <laughs> knives. There, there's a, I think four different blade styles that we can go through. It's yep. a satin, two tone, stone wash, and a black. So, jump on the site, check these out. Two hundred and thirty nine dollars on the website. I absolutely love the size of this otf yeah it's really good and that's saying a lot because when we when we were looking at doing small edc knives it, we, we we talked to kurt a bit and we were like okay cool like so we're gonna do small edc knives <laughs> and he's like oh no there's plenty of small knives i like so <laughs> yeah yeah so this is one of them jump on the site the gt 025 yeah it's a good one and th this is the thing is you said it's just as smooth as the regular recon i dare say it's smoother and it's probably just because of the weight of the blade. Maybe, and right? it could be the weight of I, the blade. I think that's all it is. It's just the weight of the blade. But man, it is butter. It it really is next level fidget factor. Yeah, for sure. Cool. Um, all right. Uh, so the first one that I have on the table is actually kind of a new one. So this is a handmade knife. Uh, and this is Anderson and Copra. Copra out of Sweden. I'm actually not familiar with this brand at all. But... Um, it comes with a uh, Sandvik uh, steel blade, and it comes in a brass and a copper. There might be another variation, but this is obviously the brass one here. It's got their logo here, which is pretty cool, like a little fox or wolf or something like that. And it's just, it's a friction folder, and it's just simple, classy, and we're talking small EDCs, like, why not, right? If, right. It's, if it's an EDC knife, it comes with a really nice leather slip. Um, goes for $159 on the website, and the blade length on this thing is just under three inches, so it's 2.8 inches. And I think when we're talking small EDC knives, it's almost what you have to go with is something, oh, yeah. maybe right at three, we have a couple right at three, but definitely right. sub three. Like you need to be sub three. three to be a small EDC knife. Um, but yeah, I, this thing just has a lot of really nice detail to it. It's really simple. I like the simplicity of it a lot. Um, I don't know, uh, there's, there's a, <laughs> 
we're gonna get a little philosophical real quick. Oh uh, there's there's a Buckle aesthetic up. yeah there's an aesthetic theory in Japan called wabi sabi, and it's essential. I'm probably pronouncing it incorrectly. I don't speak Japanese. Uh, but anyways, but it's essentially this idea that, that there's beauty in a thing that you can tell humans have handled. Right, so oh, okay. so like teapots that are like literally hundreds of years old, right, right, or like teacups that are like a little malformed and cracked. Right? There's beauty to this, and this there's nothing wrong with this. It's not malformed or anything, right? But it feels handmade. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's it's kind of a neat it's knife. It's raw. It is. It's a it's a little raw, but like the presentation's really nice. It's just clean. Um, and for 159 bucks, it's a fully handmade knife, which is pretty cool. And then I really like that actually. It reminds me of the, I think it's like, Doku or something French knives that are hmm. super slim they're, oh yeah yeah, yeah. they're okay. a friction folder as well but man that one is like perfect size yeah it's really good so um and then like i said the leather slipped really nice it is just a slip it doesn't have a pocket clip or anything on it um but yeah cool cool little knife from anderson and copra copra not sure how to pronounce it out of sweden all right i have a sog up for you now this thing is actually really cool i thought this knife was a clever entry this is the Ultra XR. Now, you got your carbon fiber scales, super thin. I can't even, like, I, here's a mini freak. Look how thin that is. That's, <laughs> that's freakishly thin. I love how you compared it to what is probably the fattest knife on the table. <laughs> well, okay. Compa what, about, what about that recon? That recon's really thin. No, no, no. The uh, the cold steel last knife on the table. Okay. Yeah, there cold you steel go. Recon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, I it's mean, crazy thin these knife. These things are, it's crazy. Yeah. Anyway, okay. Sog. They have their. Uh, um, I can't remember what they call this. XR action. lock. It's the XR lock. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. Uh, S thirty five blade, carbon fiber. You get your deep carry pocket clip. It's nice and wide. It loops into the middle. Um. This is really interesting to me. It's so thin that I'm afraid I'm gonna break it, but compared to like some other really thin knives that I love, this thing is rock hard, steady. Like it is a sturdy little little knife. Dude, it's a surprising knife. And this is something we've been seeing from SOG is these XR series they've been releasing are like real good quality. Like some, <laughs> some really good stuff and this, these ones in particular, these Ultra XRs, we get them and they're gone almost instantly. We have a couple on the website right now, but almost instantly they're they're gone. So this is the variation that we have right now. I'm not a huge fan of the gold, but I know you guys love it because these ones sell out just as fast as the regular right. ones. Yeah. So this is interesting. It is 0. 0.20 inches thick. So less than a quarter inch? 0.2. Yeah, less than a quarter inch. Less wow. than a quarter inch. Just under a quarter inch. Super thin, 124 on the site. This is a really cool entry if you want something to just disappear in your pocket. That is the way to go. And when we're talking small EDC knives, I think that's what you're looking for, right? Is, is you're looking for something that's compact, it's not going to draw a ton of attention. Uh, somebody in the in the live chat comments before we started, they were like, they were like, yeah, small knives are good for sheeple. <laughs> I would just say for non-knife nah. people, you know, and, and you make them a knife person by carrying a cool knife. Um, speaking of cool knives, next up we have the Kershaw Dividend. Now, I personally think this one starts broaching out of the small knife category. This one is, this might be a schmedium. This might be yeah, a schmedium. Might be a schmedium. Um, so the blade length on this is exactly three inches. Um, and at this particular one, um, this is the 420C steel, so it goes for $45 on the website. But as you guys know, with both the link and the dividend, which are very similar knives, the link's a, a bit bigger, um, you can get them in 20 CV, uh, which is pretty cool. So yeah, just your standard entry, American made from Kershaw. Nice little knife, uh, nice and compact. Again, maybe broaching on that schmedium life, uh, but still good, still good little knife. Got, I, got a good I, kick. I feel like it's schmedium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe we'll have to do a schmedium knife banner. <laughs> yeah, we were Some, something we, something we were like saying that. that before. Maybe right. the next wow is, is schmedium knives. But uh, Kershaw Divin, you can never go wrong. All right, up next, I have this little beauty. Mm -hmm. I actually am really impressed with this knife. This is from Finch Knife Company. This is the Runtley. Now you got your Warren Cliff blade, Bowler N690. You got your natural G10 scales, front, back, and spacer. A nice milled pocket clip. And this little crest that they have that is an inlay in the handle is so cool. That is cool. You don't see that very, I mean, you see it with some of the traditional knives, right. but you don't see it very often anywhere else. 
Right. Yeah. Jared Ozer, he, he always puts a, a little thing in there, a shield or whatever. And, uh, I think it just adds a nice aesthetic. It makes it a little fancier. If you, I, at least I feel like it's like yeah. a classy, but cool thing about this is I would probably go in and dye the blades yeah. or dye the scales different color, but Boulder in 690 one cliff blade. This is a 2.3 inch blade. So short. Yep. This is how it fits in the hands. It's a three finger knife for me. And it's $144 on the website. Cool. Finch. I think they've got some cool stuff. They do. And a lot of you guys requested Finch knives. Like we, we put this poll out on Instagram and Facebook and uh, we kind of went through all the comments and stuff. And there was a lot of Finch knives. I actually have one too, because that one and then the one that I have were requested a lot. Nice. Um, but before I jump into that, uh, I have another small EDC knife. Now, when we're talking about pulling out a knife that won't scare people, this probably isn't the way to go for a small EDC, but it is a small EDC knife. <laughs> so this is the Gerber Pride, Pry, I always say it wrong, Pride Brid, not Bird, Pride Brid X. Um, yeah, just a, a great little utility knife from Gerber, has a replaceable scalpel blade. It's got this nice pry feature on the end with a bottle opener. Pull this lanyard out of the road. So you got a bottle opener right here on the end. Nice pry feature. This is actually a nail puller, uh, which is kind of cool, right? Pull yeah. a finished nail or whatever out of your, I don't know, just messing around and need to do that. Right. <laughs> and uh, then, you know, just a nice sliding utility blade. Uh, this goes for 20 bucks on the website. So when we're talking about a compact EDC and then also something that like, yeah, sure, just throw it in a bag or a pocket. It's fine. For 20 bucks, this is pretty cool. Well, and there are some similar knives out there for a lot more money. Yes. Yeah, and yeah. This is a very similar package. Yep. And 20 bucks. 20 bucks. So uh, Gerber Pry Brid, Bird Brid, I always say it wrong. There it is. Pry Brid X. Uh, cool little option for small EDC knives. Um, and I like things, especially if it's going to be small, I like things that pack a punch. You know, um, I didn't put a Victorinox Compact on the table, even though I really wanted to. Um, you guys know how much I love that knife, and it's because it's this tiny little package that just does everything. Um, right. And I think that Prybrid would be another good addition. Right. Okay. I have the smallest knife on the tables. Okay. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty sure. This is the Spyderco McB. Oh, yeah. We gave this one to you on purpose. <laughs> Let, let's just take a look at this. Like, in the hands? Are you kidding me? Who's using this knife? You know what? I could see some very specialized people that are like, I just love it because it's so different, you know? Yeah. So Spider Comic B, this is a CPS at XHP steel. You get your Warncliffe blade with kind of, I feel like this is like a bat wing yeah. design, you know? So it's not the McB, like, it's the McBat. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> this Good. thing is actually really cool. Titanium scales, it's like this hammered titanium pivot really cool um frame lock it's so small like i like can't get over how small it is yeah and that's you see we're talking small edcs that's a tiny edc this is right? a baby EDC. but it is kind of an interesting spider co knife we don't feature it very often and there were a handful of you guys that wanted to see that you guys said small edc oh go with the spider co mcb all right hams that's like two two fingers but here's the thing with two fingers is it workable like do you feel like do you because when i had it in hand i was actually surprised in my hand how how i was like oh actually no i could totally use this you know what i like that it's a worn cliff you could use this as a utility blade mm -hmm. pinch it in your thumb and yep. middle finger and use your index yeah oh my gosh it's actually not bad 140 dollars on the website for this tiny little entry for your edc cool right on all right, um, we've got a couple of shout outs from you guys. If you guys are watching live, Alex is in the comments, so make sure to hit her up. If you have any questions about knives on the table, um, or if you have suggestions for small EDC knives, let her know, and uh, if we have time, she'll grab them and we'll bring some out and we'll look at them live. So if you guys have small EDC knives that you love that aren't on the table, let us know and we'll pick them. Um, so we have a shout out here, Scott. It's Scott Schriefers, I think that's how you say your last name. First Blade HQ Live, he said six months ago, he had only purchased one knife in his 50 years of life. Now after uh, Blade HQ, he has 50, he has over 50 knives. Nice. <laughs> Thanks. 
Thanks, BHQ, for uh, the love of knives and emptying my piggy bank. <laughs> hey, welcome to the fold, man. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you, but you definitely have to watch that piggy bank. I get I get sucked in sometimes, and I'm like, oof, maybe I shouldn't have bought that one. But <laughs> It happens. Just got to add to the collection. Exactly. Um, and then Hugo, hmm, Hugo Herlios? He says, uh, good day from Australia. First time catching a wild live. Love that knife. I don't know which knife he loved. I don't know if it was the McD or one I had, but um, welcome. <laughs> that's great. That's awesome. All the way from Australia, man. That's awesome. Um, okay, cool. So on to Finch Knives, the one that I had on the table. It's the, uh, this is the Model 1929, um, and very similar styling to what you had. These do come in different styles. It just so happened that we pulled two that have the natural um, G10, the JG10 on it. Um, but pretty smooth construction all the way around, milled pocket clip, kind of an interesting... I don't know what type of blade shape you would call that. Maybe a clip point. Modified. Mod modified clip point. Modified <laughs> anything. It's got a big belly to it. it it's I'd say clip point. Um, but it's a frame lock. Um, yeah, just kind of an interesting construction. I really personally like that crest. The crest is. It's cool. It's it's pretty sweet. It is pretty sweet. The handle to blade ratio is just a little weird for me. Right. And I think it's probably just because of all of that belly. It feels the blade almost feels shorter. It feels like stubbier because yeah. of that. Um, but the blade length on this thing is 2.5 inches, so nice, compact, small EDC knife. Really burly construction, feels good in hand, buttery smooth. Like, I, I, like, just so good. Buttery smooth. I feel like if I was going to a party or something and there were going to be fancy miscellaneous meats and cheeses, <laughs> I would bust that thing out and everyone would be like, what? <laughs> and I'd be, be like, like, watch me charcuterie board. <laughs> Serve that up. Please, sir, cut my meat and cheese. Let me put in my <laughs> second monocle. That's why I always wear two. I'm double fancy. Right. See? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so this thing goes for 110 bucks on the website. Uh, again, you, a lot of you guys wanted to see these Finch knives. Um, haven't really handled them yet. Kind of cool entries. Yeah. Okay, let's see. I've got a Kershaw highball. Now this is a slip joint. Kershaw's been making some interesting little slippies. Wait, is it a slippy? It's a slip joint. No, it locks. It it locks. <laughs> okay, That's so it's bad. not a slip. It's joint. not a slip. I was joint. like, wait, I didn't think that was a slip joint. <laughs> and rewind. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we're not live. Okay, yeah, <laughs> we're not live. No big deal. Sorry, Kershaw. Uh, Kershaw highball. It's got D two steel. Um, I actually kind of like this. It doesn't have a flipper tab. It doesn't have, it has like a nail nick, mm -hmm. but it's it's long and, and grooved. And it's actually really smooth. Frame lock, not a slip joint. Don't pay attention to that. <laughs> I don't know who said that, but this one's $42 on the website. Here's the thing though, with the two handed open and the nail nick, it, it initially feels like a slip joint. And that thing, it's, it the smooth isn't the word, it's like soft. Like the opening on it's soft, right? Like the action feels like it should be, and right. then it locks out, and you're like, oh, okay, it's frame lock. It's like those super <laughs> fancy drawers where you shut the drawer and it's uh -huh. all. Zzz. That's perfect. It's like a it's like a soft closed drawer. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> Forty two dollars on the website for the highball, dude. D two steel and a frame lock, can't go wrong. Like that's actually a pretty sweet deal, and it's a pretty cool looking knife. And it's not a slip joint. And it's not a slip joint. <laughs> You know what would be cool is if they made that in a slip joint. <laughs> hey, maybe one day. <laughs> All right, so I didn't put the compact on the table for small EDC knives, but we did put a tinker on the table because uh, actually a lot of you guys recommended the Victorinox tinker. Um, you guys know a lot about this knife. It's got a bunch of different, uh, it's got two blades on it, and then it's got a couple other tools here locked away. You got your bottle opener, can opener, pry bars, um, Standard screwdriver tips. I'd forgotten the word there for a little while. And then the one thing, the one thing that the compact doesn't have <sighs> has this beautiful Phillips head screwdriver. So one day we will have time to do a video on how to put this on a compact and then the compact will be perfect. But now, this particular one, the screwdriver, you gotta have the screwdriver. You gotta have the screwdriver, you gotta have the screwdriver. So anyways, this particular Tinker um, is a Blade HQ exclusive. So this is our Loco Loho, our crazy wolf um, so obviously the wolf is howling knives because that's the logical thing to do. Obviously. And then uh, the cool Blade HQ on the back. Um, great little knife. And this thing goes for, I might have said Super Tinker. This is just the regular Tinker. 
If I said Super Tinker, I take that back. Uh, this thing goes for $26.95 on the website. And this is the thing with Swiss Army and the Swiss Army knife, Victorinox knives, is you get so much bang for your buck. It's a lot like that Gerber that we were looking at earlier. Like it's like fairly inexpensive and you get a really useful tool. And with Victorinox, you just get a really useful tool. And I will tell you guys, I did I took this knife because I didn't want Kurt bad mouthing it because you know how he tried to pry with a Victorinox blade. But I will say this. He was in Montana and he confessed. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, he's over here being embarrassed. He confessed that while he was in Montana, like he's like, yeah, there was about five or six times that I could have really used a Victorinox. <laughs> So, Dude, get yourself it, a Victorinox. <laughs> it was everything. I'm not even kidding. I don't know what was going on, but I had like fixed blades and my regular like, you know, bug outs, stuff like that. Yeah. But there were so many times that like I had to pull slivers out of children's hands mm -hmm. and all sorts of little tiny stuff. And yeah. I was like, okay. Yeah. Now he came back and he's I like, hey, admit it. What, what tools were in that compact again? And so I like <laughs> ran him through him and he's like, oh yeah, I probably should get one. <laughs> I'll keep saying it. Everybody... Everybody should have a Victorinox compact. And I'm not even hyping it. I'm like being dead serious. Everybody should have a Victorinox Honestly, compact. I, I was, by the end of the trip, I was like, dang it. I should have, I should own one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Just to have with me. In my truck or whatever, you pull it out and, dude, yeah. you got everything. There it is. Exactly. Right. Well, and, you know, just so we don't overshadow it. But the tinker's on the table, guys. This is, <laughs> this is the one you guys wanted to see. I don't want to foreshadow or overshadow that with the, my love of the compact. The Tinker really is a good knife. The Super Tinker is also an incredible knife. Um, so either way, either way you go, you, you're going to win. You're going to win either way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. I have a Benchmade. Oh, that was so sad. Did you? What did you do? I fudged it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that right there is a Mini Freak. And I am going to call it the Mini Semi Super Freak. Hmm? I think if it had a coated black blade, mm -hmm then it could be a mini super freak. But you got the carbon fiber, you got your red barrel spacers, you've got your regular old Benchmade clip. Um, you got S90V steel with this. You still have the same shape of the freak and the belly of the blade on a, the drop point for the full size freak. Basically is kind of close to the difference of a bug out and a mini bug out. This is the freak and the mini freak. This is actually to me, a excellent size. This right here, it is a three inch blade, right on the money. That's where I like that. You know, three to three and a half, I think is my, I want to carry that. Spot. Right, that's okay. my sweet spot. But the Mini Freak, man, it's bench made. What, what else can I say about it? It's got the access lock, it's stellar. Well, this is the thing is, when we're talking small EDC, it's I think it's good to have a knife that can take a beating, right? And with something like that, like S90V blade, access right. lock, et cetera, et cetera. It, but it's got the carbon fiber scale, so it's kind of classy. Mm -hmm. It's a great small EDC knife. Classy, light, you can put a lot of work into this. That is $263 on the website. And we didn't plan it this way, but I actually have a bench made up next as well. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> so we can't talk about small ADCs, and all of you guys wanted to see this. So anybody who's gonna hate on this, I'm sorry. This was literally requested by you guys. And I'm doing it so that Kurt doesn't, because he's always talking about this knife. <laughs> so obviously, mini bug out. You guys know everything about this knife. It really is a stellar knife. And right now, with any Benchmade knife, um, we have bug out shop mats. Shop mats. So you can get a custom bug out shop mat that we've uh, designed in-house. Um, it's similar to the shop mats that we've done in the past. Um, you get it for free right now with any Benchmade order. So. Now's a great time to get a Benchmade because it's actually a pretty big value add uh, to have those mats. I use them for all sorts of stuff. Uh, yeah. 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 Everybody needs a mat. Everybody needs a mat. <laughs> oh, I'm not kidding. My desk, mat. I have this big, huge, long mat on the table on the side. Dude, yep. the mats are the best. They are the best. I actually have a Hogue mat from like back in the day when we ran the Hogue ones. And I just like rebuilt the carb on top of it. And nice. it was great because my stuff wasn't rolling all over the wood table. Right. right. Um, so anyways, uh, Benchmade Mini Bug Out. This thing goes for 136 bucks on the website. If you get the white one, you can dye the scales like Jamie did. And you can have a really cool dyed scale bug out. Um, with, you just go watch our rip dye video that we did on how to dye scales. Um, deep carry pocket clip, all the good stuff. Um, you just can't beat it. Straight up, you just can't beat it. When it comes to small EDC, it is very hard to beat that Mini Bug Out. I agree. 
and flightanium has so many different color scales dude so you can either dye them or you can use flightanium stuff it's really cool i just like to customize my bug outs yeah everyone team. kurt has no stock bug outs. he probably owns 150 bug outs and none of them are stock i might be exaggerating a little bit but i know that none of them are stock i, I do know that for not sure. one of them honestly i think i've lost most of the original scales <laughs> you, i don't know what he's trying to say is he's lost more bug outs than anybody else has ever bought <laughs> uh i've lost a few i've lent out a few lent out. he gives them away a lot uh, yeah this is true um, so. But we are getting about to the halfway point. So if you guys want to shout out, tell us what you're carrying in your, in your pockets. And Alex will um, send it over to me here and we'll give you guys a shout out. Kurt, why don't you do another knife and then we'll do our pocket dump. So one more All knife. Right. So let us know what you guys are carrying. Okay. I've got this Sword Mini Pheasant friction folder. Another friction folder. Which is cool. It's got the polymer handle. I kind of like these big brass screws mm -hmm. big like old school flathead type of stuff you know yeah. what i mean um these are interesting honestly i'm not a friction folder kind of guy but it's pretty dang fun to play with yeah well um, the thing the thing with the sword brand too is, is they make a lot of like bushcraft style stuff right so this is kind of a cool in pocket knife i can't remember does it come with it might come with a slip it might not come with a slip it'd be easy to make one if it doesn't come with a slip right. Um, and it would make great for, you know, if you find yourself outdoors a lot, right? If that's your EDC qualifications, that sport fiction folder is a pretty cool little, little one to get. Oh, definitely. And for 21 bucks. Exactly. Let's be honest. That's a pretty sweet deal. I, I will say this is as far back as that mm -hmm. friction folder goes, obviously, cause you want to be able to access it. I feel like, yeah, yeah, yeah. but in the hand, it kind of, kind of rubs on my my hams creates a hot spot now bit. here's the question does it create a ramp for your thumb like is there any jimping back there nope huh. smooth interesting well i am pretty sure if i owned a friction folder i'd cut myself yeah <laughs> that's just guaranteed guaranteed <laughs> all right um okay so um we got a couple call outs here if you guys uh give us your pocket dumps alex will send them over but uh let's see we got jim Reitenor. He says he just bought his first auto Boker plus strike automatic from Blade HQ. He says he loves it. Uh, and oh, and then Alex let him know that we'll show it shortly. So there we go. And then um, we have another pocket dump. I don't have a name for this one, but uh, they've got uh, they're carrying a strike, a dragonfly, a Kershaw cinder. Hmm. Never mind. That's from Alex. Alex going to be pulling some knives. <laughs> I'm used to just the comments here. This is uh, mine and Alex is one of our first time working comments together. So, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love I love doing. And she just she just sent me a message that said no. <laughs> <laughs> this is the beauty of doing things live, guys. <laughs> oh man. And then uh, David Shoot says he wants to know the actual number of bug outs that Kurt owns. Um, well, Kurt, why don't you give us a pocket dump? Give us your pocket dump and then tell us, and then try to guess how many bug outs. I just have the one knife, my mini bug out with the flytanium Oof. slate blue scales. I just love it. I use it all the time. Now, here's a question. We just did the boot knife video. Right. Did that tempt you to carry a boot knife? No. More. It didn't at all? No. Oh, man. Every time I wear my Red Wings, I have a boot knife now. Really? Every time. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, not my jam. Not jam. I'd rather have a fixed blade on my belt. Totally. Than on my boot. That makes sense. So I can kick doors in with my boots, you know? What yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. See, I want to kick the door in and grab the knife at the same time. So yes. that's why. I <laughs> oh, ninja skills. Ninja skills. My ninja skills are <laughs> low. All right. Um, Luke Holmes says he's carrying a Benchmade Anthem. Uh, he says the best, best Benchmade out there because it doesn't use the Omega Springs. You know, this is something we hear a lot in the community is, you know, um, I broke uh, the, the, the springs on my bench made broke. And I've heard this over and over again. Guys, I've owned a lot of bug outs for a lot of years. I, I've never broken a pair of Omega Springs ever. But I'm also not a huge fidget guy. And maybe that's what it is. Maybe if you're fidgeting all the time. I don't know. Right. And I've never actually talked to anybody in person who's broken their Omega Springs. I know what happens. We hear about it all the time. I mean, unless um, you're putting like a lot of pressure on the blade. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. We'll do that. That the that HK mini axis I have is right. bench. It's bench made made. It has the access lock on it. Right. Bench made was still making HK stuff, and uh, dude, I that thing has been literally tortured all over the country. Like it is. I mean, it's built gun ranges. It's been 
hoboing. It's been on motorcycle adventures, and I've never once had a problem with that dang thing. So, um, anyways. Uh, but yeah, good reason to like the Anthem, I guess. <laughs> All right, so pocket dump from me. I am carrying today Blade HQ exclusive Para 3. Yep, nope, I've used it. <laughs> Blade HQ exclusive Para 3, M4, and Natural G10. Great knife. Para 3 in general is a great knife. Para 3 is probably my favorite Spyderco knife. If I had, yeah, I think it's probably my favorite Spyderco knife. But this one in particular is my one of my favorite ones to carry. Um, and then I also have, um, of course, I've got the Phoenix Flashlight and I've got the Victorinox Compact. Never leave home without it. Oh, and I got my big idea design, Pete Pirate's Life pen. So these are my pockets every day. At least these three items every single day in my pockets no matter that's, what that's not a lie yeah trust me i every single day i see him pulling out that pen yep and i'm like man i wish i was friends with pete <laughs> <laughs> he's basically my spirit animal so <laughs> i don't know why i'm not best friends with him well maybe when uh maybe when the world cools down a little bit we'll try to get up to canada and, and do something with pete i think that'd be a blast yeah <laughs> cool um all right, and then apparently uh, Alex says, everyone wants a Blade HQ flannel for the fall and winter. I am working on it. I legitimately am working on it. We could probably source a flannel that would be fine. I would really love to do a Blade HQ Carhartt flannel because I'm just a Carhartt guy. I'm working on it. It's really hard to get a hold of Carhartt as it turns out. So we'll see what we can do. Maybe, yeah. I'll, maybe I'll just drive out to Carhartt and their headquarters and just talk to them. Maybe you'll just buy some sheep and spin some wool and <laughs> there we go. whittle whittle your own or yeah that's know. what you do you whittle yeah. wool that's you, you whittle <laughs> wool into a into yeah. a cotton carhartt right button up yeah no yeah. That's, that's how it works pearl buttons and yeah all the things <laughs> awesome <laughs> all right uh so we have some knives some knives from you guys watching live that you wanted to see but let's bust through what we have left on the table first cool and then we'll knock into that so um i have for small edc knives i have the fox baby core this is my next knife purchase i wanted to buy one before we sold out we've got a restock um i think this is actually i'm pretty sure this is the exact variation that i want uh, is this one right here so maybe i'll just buy this one tonight but it's a really great knife obviously it's a fox nest design you can tell because it's a compact small knife, but just built for perfect utility and fits your hand great. And that's what you get every time with Jesper's designs. Um, Gosh, he's so good he's at so it. He's so good at it. He's so good at it. Uh, and it's not even because I love him as a dude. It's not even because I love him as a designer. Like right. he just legitimately, if you guys don't own a Vox design, just pick up the CRKT Pilar. Super low entry. And it's also a nice small knife. Pick that knife up and carry it for a while. I think almost everybody can like that knife. If you have a super big hand, you'll need a lanyard for it. Um, but he's just a master at economy of space, right? Yes. Um, but this yes, one has a uh, two-way reversible pocket clip, uh, clip, uh, kind of this interesting, uh, we're just going to call it modified worn clip. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <Played there. laughs> and, um, these do come in the Bowler N690 G10 handles, and they go for 70 bucks on the website. So pretty dang good deal for a pretty sweet little compact EDC. All right. Are you ready for this one? I don't know. Am I? This is an Isham. Oh, this, this was kind of cool, actually. This is the one that I failed about five times yeah. in a row to flip open. There oh, it is. Oh, snap. There it is. Isham Blade Works. This is the Black Star, and this one is a slip joint. It is a slip joint. Weird. <laughs> I got those backwards. And this one has a nail nick. Weird. Mm -hmm. It feel, it's kind of similar. Yeah, 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 that's what it was. That's all it was, guys. It was yeah, just, it was just, just you know, stuff. Uh, it's fine. Mm, yeah, <laughs> no big deal. Okay, so this is a two and a half inch blade. You got the Bowie little scoop here, Isham design, carbon fiber, and titanium. You got your milled pocket clip. This is just a cute little guy, a little, little slip joint. It's got CPM 20 CV steel, and the let's see, the blade length two and a half inches on the blade. Hmm. It looks smaller. Like it, it, it does. It's it a pretty feels, compact knife. It feels smaller. Yeah. But the blade, it goes all the way up to mm -hmm. the end of the handle. So you a know, lot of blade. A lot of blade for the handle. I think it's actually a pretty good ratio. Um, it's a three finger knife for me, personally. I'm not a huge fan of slip joints. Not my jam. I own a handful of them, but not my jam. But this one does have a pocket clip, and I think that's cool for a slip joint. Yeah. So and again, small EDC knives, like 
it's super pocketable, right? Right, absolutely. So that's the Black Star Slip Joint, and that goes for two hundred dollars. Yep. Cool. Um, all right. Next up for me is the Microtech Exoset. So kind of interesting that there's that we've got two OTFs on the table when we're talking about small EDC knives. Um, now this is obviously you guys know everything about the Exoset. Great action, nice thin design. Um, the pocket clip is super fat. This was actually designed to be a money clip originally. So it's an in-pocket knife. I've carried one of these things with this pocket clip on the outside. Sure, it's a little loud because it's like a fat old pocket clip, but it also works as a pocket clip just fine. Um, yeah, great, great little carry. Uh, this is definitely not one that you would want to pull out uh, just in front of anybody. Right. <laughs> Um, but the blade is uh, right at two inches, so if you have certain legal restrictions in the areas that you live, it might work for those areas. I'm not a lawyer. Know your local laws. <laughs> check, check your laws. Check your local laws every time. Um, but yeah, cool little knife from Microtech, Microtech Exoset. This thing goes for $279 on the website. All right. Up next, I have a Spyderco Lil Lul. Lil native. I love that they committed to it. Oh yeah. Right. None of this little crap. It's not little. <laughs> it's little. Lil. Exactly. Exactly. Spyderco Lil native. It's a 2.4 inch blade. It's got this nice big bellied drop point. <laughs> I, I love how. You know I what? Love how we're just. You know what? Guessing no, today. here it's not even guessing. It's <laughs> Spyderco uses this shape a lot. They do. The Shaman has a, has a similar Shaman, shape. Shaman, very yeah. similar. Yeah, yeah. And obviously the big native. Yeah. Anyway. That, that's beside the point. G10 <laughs> scales, compression lock, and the wire pocket clip, which is reversible. I love the compression lock. This is one of my favorite locks in the industry. It is a good one. It really is. And you can fidget with this thing. One hand. Boom. Okay. Two and a half inch blade. S30V steel. And you can own the Lil, Lil Native. <laughs> For one hundred and twenty-six dollars, <laughs> right on. It's a good one, <laughs> Lul. Uh, this is funny that we're like brands on between our two tables are kind of lining up. Uh, the next one that I have is also Spiderco. We mesh very well. We do. We, we mesh. Sync. We met. We were in sync. This is very true. Um, so yeah. So this one is the Techno Two from Spiderco. Uh, full titanium construction. It's got these kind of neat colored backspacers so uh it's got these like they're like green barrel spacers not backspacers these green barrel spacers it's got a wire clip i know some of you guys out there aren't big fans of the wire clip i like wire clips Me personally too. i think they're I nice do. like they're they're lightweight they're not a big deal i think the um yeah the the baby core also has a wire clip on it i feel like a lot of people aren't sure about them and yeah dude they're rock solid they're yeah. sturdy yeah yeah i've i have messed up more and not necessarily kershaw but i've messed up more clips like this this style of clip than wire clips every time oh yeah me too so anyways uh it's got uh, uh frame lock construction and yeah just a just a great little small knife that actually doesn't get a lot of attention we saw a lot of you guys you guys were like Techno two, techno two, and so we're like, this is great because we don't uh, we don't put this one in the spotlight very often. Um, and this thing goes for two hundred thirty one dollars on the website. It's got a uh, CTS XHP blade. Just nice spider co design. All right, I have a Kaiser on the table. This is the Mini Domen in natural G ten with the natural G ten spacer. You've got your reversible pocket clip. This is a liner lock. This is N690 steel. Um, the blade length is 2.8 inches. I think it's just kind of a nice, sleek, very well made, under three inch pocket knife. Yeah, and it's part of that Vanguard series. And, and you know, just the same way that we does such a good job with Civivi, Kaiser does such a good job with their Vanguard yeah. series. Uh, what's the price on that thing? Price is fifty five dollars. Yeah, fifty five bucks. Like it's it's the same thing. Like whether you're talking Civivi, whether you're talking Kaiser Vanguard, they both just make such an incredible knife in that budget range. Right. Yep. Uh, Doman. You can get a Doman, a mini Doman. There's all sizes, all colors. Check them out. Fifty five bucks. Cool. Um, all right. So <laughs> I've had. Uh, I've had. I guess I've had some baller knives on the table. But my, this might be the most baller knife on the table. <laughs> this is one that a lot of you guys also wanted to see. This is the obviously the Chris Reeve Small Sabenza. 
Um, I got the one with the natural micarta inlay. This might be the only one we have right now, but this is also my favorite one. Um, you guys know the story on this thing, man. Full titanium construction. It's got the Reeve interval lock, or as we commonly call it, the frame lock, <laughs> because that's a Chris Reeve thing. <laughs> Um, I always love this kind of textured finish that they put on the titanium. It just adds to yeah. the grip of the whole thing. Um, and then this one's in the Tonto blade. Just an incredible knife. Um, they, you know, they're they're not cheap by any means, right? I mean, no. this one, this particular one goes for four hundred seventy five dollars. Um, but when you're talking knives, I mean, these are heirloom. Like this is this is the type of knife right. that you own forever, you beat to death, and then you pass on. You know what I mean? Like you just pass it to your kid or your friend or whoever, right? Like whoever right. the next person is that's gonna that's gonna carry it. These things will just last forever. Um, it's always fun sitting down with Tim Reeve and talking to him about these, you know, crazy things that he's done with these high-end knives, right? And they just, he's like, yeah, no, it's fine. It's what they're for. They're for using, you know? Um, so, great knife from Chris Reeve, uh, the small Sabenza. Oh, man, I like this knife. This is the Protec Newport. Now, it's got a nice little swirly, is what I'm going to call that, in the uh, milled <laughs> aluminum. That is their patinum swirly design. The swirly. So I'm, is, I'm glad that you recognize This is the Newport <laughs> swirly edition. Um, satin blade, S35VN steel. You got your deep carry pocket clip. Oh, man. I just This knife screams, I want to be in Kurt's pocket. I want to be in Kurt's pocket. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's interesting. Cause I, dude, I, if I was going to pick a ProTech for you, that's not the one I would pick. If I were to get a ProTech, it'd be either the TR, TR3. TR3, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the Newport. I think I like the Newport because it's just like, ah, oh, so slim and sleek. And I don't own a knife like that. Yeah. Like this has got, it's really cool. It's really pointy, really slicey, deep carry, fancy, I would say, for the ham hands. Definitely a classic Four knife. finger. Full ham hands approved. This thing is epic. <laughs> Three inch blade. I, if I were to own a Protec, this is what I'd own. That's I would one. maybe huh. not this one, but a right. Newport. A Newport, absolutely. Interesting. I've, I've been uh, been keeping my eye out for the rose gold blade Oof. to come back in. That one is pretty, and I want that. What about an operator? Uh, would you do an operator in that, or you want the class? Like you want the shine. <sighs> I want the classy. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want it. If I could get like a pearl, this has got the pearl inlay button, mm -hmm. you know? Sweet, sweet, cool. sweet knife. And Protec Automatic, as you guys know, they always fire and fire strong. $199.95 on the website. Oh, man. I hope. <laughs> I hope that one ends up in my pocket soon. <laughs> 200 bucks, Protec Newport. I love that knife. Beautiful little uh, American beauty there. Um, all right, next up I have, oh, I forgot to flip it. There it is. <laughs> I've got the, this is the Boker Kansai LRF. Um, we have these in a bunch of different varieties. I don't know, this one, this one's right at three inches. This one feels a little big. This feels like, this feels like a schmedium to me. I don't know if this is a small EDC But knife. it's so thin. It is. It's slender, but when you open it up, the overall length of that thing is huge. It's, yeah. a, it's a pretty long knife. I wouldn't say huge. That's an yeah. exaggeration, but it's it's a long knife, I guess. It's yeah, huge. for small yeah. EDCs, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So VG10 blade, uh, this particular one has shred carbon fiber, nice deep carry pocket clip. Um, and again, what you're, what you're seeing a lot on the table is kind of a classy carry, right? right. I mean, we have things like... The, that Finch, that Finch is like actually a pretty burly knife. Like it fits in, it's classy enough, but it's like well overbuilt. Obviously the Chris Reeve, the Baby Core is a pretty tough knife, but a lot of these knives on the table are a little bit thinner, right? Like yeah. not, not necessarily hard use knives. And obviously this, this Kansai LRF falls right in that range of not a hard use knife, but really nice and slicey, great for apples and whatnot. It's great for opening papers, that type of thing. Um, so yeah, you can get that on the website for 80 bucks. And then we've got them in Micarta, we've got them in carbon fiber, we've got them in a bunch of different styles. So. Right. Okay, I only have two more on the table over here and then we can get into people's goodies, what they wanna see. Love it. CRKT Burnley Squid. If you don't know Lucas Burnley, get on the internet and search him up because <laughs> that guy is legit. He makes amazing knives, great designs, very utilitarian. This, you get a lot of knife for 23.95 it's similar to vox designs in, in that really way is. right like 
its own thing, of course, right? Obviously. But similar in that way that it's a small knife, but it's a lot of knife. In that yeah, you get knife. a. It's very utilitarian. It's solid, and who doesn't love Lucas Burnley? Yeah. I do. <laughs> Twenty three dollars on the website. Cool. All right. So my this is actually my the last table or the last knife that I have on the table. This is the Civivi Mini Bull Mastiff. Now, if you guys watched our weekly pick, it's a new series of video we're doing. If you haven't watched that, go check it out because um, we need to see if you guys like that. And if you guys like that type of content, we're going to keep making it. Um, but this is the mini bull mastiff. In the weekly pick, George said that the bull mastiff, the regular size bull mastiff, was his favorite. And by regular size, I mean the giant one. <laughs> of course. Yeah. It's George. Yeah, no, it was huge. Um, and this thing has e exactly a three-inch blade. Um, it does, obviously, this one feels a little bit bigger as well with that kind of, you know, huge cleaver style blade that it has going on. Um, but you know, everything that you love about Civivi, uh, G10 handle, this one I think is an 8CR, 9CR, 8CR, it's a 9, 9CR blade, but this is the thing, and I, and I said this before we got going, I had picked this knife up, I don't like the way this knife looks, personally, like I wouldn't know, personally this isn't my jam, I wouldn't buy right. this knife, but gosh dang, that action, I would buy the knife just for the action, like it's crazy that a $50 knife can be this good, you know what yeah. I mean? Gosh, Civivi. Dude, it's it's just, it's nuts. You're um, doing it right. So, yeah, uh, Mini Bull Mastiff. Even if you don't like the way it looks, if you want something to play with, this is a good knife to play it's with. <laughs> All right. Now, my last knife on the table has two words that I it does not work in my mind. I don't know why. Cold steel mm -hmm. and micro. <laughs> How do those combine? I don't know, but we're going to find out. This is the Micro Recon 1, a two inch blade. It's a very polite, dainty, <laughs> hardcore. I'm sure Lynn Thompson could carry 400 of these on him. Right. <laughs> he, dude, I saw him pull out the like 12 inch pocket swords and stuff. Man, I don't even know what you could do with something this small. It's cool. Anyway, it's got the triad still on this tiny little knife. It's amazing. It's a sweet little knife and $27 on the website. Yeah, it's a good one. And I love that they're not even beating the bush. It's not a mini. No, it's a micro. It's a micro. It's a micro. They're like, no, there's no there's no mini. This is, as far as cold steel go, this is a micro. I would say also it's definitely a two finger knife for me, but this little bit right here, you can really get in on your thumb. And I'm not kidding, for two finger knife, you got a lot of purchase there. Cool. $27 on the website for the Micro Recon 1. All right. All right. Um, there was a couple. Oh, there it is. Uh, there were a couple other shout outs here. Um, so I guess Shinobi is carrying a Blade HQ exclusive paramilitary to Tonto. Right on. Nice. I didn't even get one of those. Me. Either. I didn't even get one of those. <laughs> there are more on the way. So if you are like us and weren't able to get one, we have some more coming. Um, hopefully, next drop, I'll be right. able to get one. Um, David Shoot says, oh, he's, he's persistent. He says, I want to know the actual number of bug outs Kurt owns. He's guessing that it's seven. Can you, can you tally him up? <sighs> Give me Kurt, a minute. I got to think. Okay. You think about it, the ones you currently earn. I have another shout out here. Um, and then Lincoln Lime said he used to carry the exo set as a money clip. Um, and nobody was the wiser it has nothing. Uh, it has no look or anything said. Um, it take a knife person or someone in the know to notice. And I, I'd agree with that. I mean, you pull this out anywhere that you're at, pull it out at the grocery store or whatever, and your your money's in this. I don't think, you know, you got a card and some cash or whatever in this. Nobody's gonna notice that this is a pocket knife as well. So kind of a cool, kind of a cool deal. And then you do that. Right. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's a smooth little knife, so. Cool. Okay, yeah. I have an answer. Okay, what is it? I have, well, okay. I will tell you how many I have bought for myself, and then I'll tell you how many are in my possession. No, how many do you currently own? That's all we care about. <clears throat> three. Okay, currently own three. Okay, so now give us the, the bot, because I know that you're buying these things a lot. Okay, I have five full-sized. Okay. And then I only have one mini. Really, only one? What? I thought you had a couple. Everybody's tripping out right oh now gosh, because only six. I only have yeah. Listen, you let you let David shoot <laughs> shoot down, okay? David, come on, man. <laughs> Give me some time. <laughs> Bug out's my favorite. I, I love that knife. Yeah. And I think it could be potentially 
the perfect small EDC knife. I do. That's what I was saying when I when I talked about it. I mean, it really is good. Um, I have a lot of people ask me. They're like, "Hey, what what small EDC knife should I get?" And I'll be like, "Okay, right. It's about classifications of EDC. It's like with that sword we were talking about. It's people's EDCs vary, right? right. Like when I was working construction, that's a certain type of EDC." Um, when I work here at Blade HQ, that's a certain type of EDC, right? It really is, what is your everyday? Right. And for a lot of people, their everyday is just like, I just need something lightweight, I need something that's inconspicuous, and I need something that, uh, you know, is, is, uh, is going to get the job done, right? And it's like, you can't, it's hard to go wrong. There's a lot of great knives on the table, and I'm not going to say it's the best, but there are a lot of great, there are a lot of great knives on the table. The mini bug out is one of them. Um, one I, of they them. should have called it the medium bug out, because I don't think it's a mini personally. But if it was any smaller, it wouldn't be very useful. Maybe it was a maybe the next up is gonna be a micro bug out. Micro bug out, there you go. <laughs> All right, what uh what knives could you pass me some of those knives or what? Oh, yeah. Uh let's see. Keep my distance. There we go. Moving the table. Dude, I got one right here. Can I start? Yeah, what do you got? I have got the Spider Code Dragonfly 2 in orange GFN with the lockback and the VG10 steel and the reversible wire clip. It's funny. These are actually really cool. It was that was on our list originally because there was a lot of people that wanted to see it and yeah. we're like, ah, oh, well, we got the Techno and the McB. Those ones we don't we don't show those a lot. Well, here it is, <laughs> dude. Uh, honestly, for a small knife that's super light, and I mean, this is one that disappears. Think of this. Okay, this knife is what? How? 2.28 inches of blade. I can fit all four of my fingers on that thing. And then you got the ramp on the back. And then I've got that big old ramp with the jimping. I'm not kidding. I could get after something with this. I don't know what I'd cut, but I'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> it would get done. <laughs> I'd do it. These things are cool, and they're 65 bucks. 60 six bucks on the website and usually we have a whole bunch of flavors colors and stuff but the dragonfly 2 is actually really cool i like it it's got a wire clip super lightweight cool right on um, oh that was lincoln evans lincoln evans right on just for you buddy all right uh so from few people <laughs> it just says few people <laughs> I love that Alex is doing the comments. This is like the best right now. So a few people wanted to see the uh, Boker Mini Strike automatic knife. Um, this thing is pretty rad. Uh, yeah. It's not a stubby strike. No. I do like the stubby strike, but the stubby strike obviously is a little more comical, to be honest. Like, uh, yeah. not, not comical. What's the word I'm looking Because it's not a funny knife. It's like, a, I don't know what the word is. Not gimmicky. It's not gimmicky. It's just, you know, I've got a word that I like to use. Yeah. Stubby. Stubby is like, <laughs> it's describing something, but it also that, adds a little bit of that like silly. Yeah, and that is know. the name of the knife. Yeah. So it is the stubby. stubby. But this is the mini strike. Um, this particular one comes in a D2 blade. Everything you love about the strike in a more compact package. It goes for $42.95 on the website. Um, not like a fully concealed deep carry pocket clip, but it is a deep carry pocket clip. It does have the lock on it, um, which is nice. It doesn't get in the road when you're trying to use the knife. It's a huge thing for me in locks, and yeah, cool little knife from a few people. There you go, buddy. A few people. <laughs> All right, I've got one. This is the last one I've got. Now, the name is either CA Cloners, as mm -hmm. in maybe California Cloners, mm -hmm. or it's CAC Cloners. Let's just say Cloners. Cloners. Wait, of the knife or of the... No, no, no. Oh. This is the person. The... Oh, oh, the, the person that wanted to yeah, see Yeah, this is the person. <laughs> And I don't know why I end up with the smallest knives all the time, <laughs> but this thing is a bitty, itty bitty. This is a 1.37 inch blade. This is the Kershaw Cinder. It's a keychain knife. You got your bottle opener. You got your frame lock. It's really open, cool design. You know, you can see a lot of the blade. Um, that actually has some pretty good pry action to it. It's, it's actually pretty stout uh, backspacer here. But just a cute little guy. And for $9, dude, that's that's actually hard to beat. It's a, it's a pretty useful little knife. Let's see how many fingers. Oh, dude, that's like two and three quarters. Not bad. 
I love I love the way it looks. I really hope we're getting a close up of this right now. That's a baby ham shark right there. <laughs> anyway, cloners, CA cloners, you you know who you are. I appreciate that. 1.3 inch, man. Nine bucks on the website. It's a good wonder. Dude, and it's a Kershaw for nine bucks. That's like, right. Yeah, good way to go. All right, and then uh, the last one that you guys wanted to see on the table is the Leatherman Free T4. Uh, this is from Owen Humphreys. Wanted to see this. So this is right in line with the Free Series that Leatherman has released. And the Free Series, is a lot of, as most of you probably know, is a one-handed uh, tool, that, that uh, one-handed system sorry, that uh, Leatherman is doing, and they come in a couple different uh, varieties. So this is the free series. So as you guys can see, I'm opening and closing this, all these tools with one hand. So you can just select what you want, open her up, and then close it down. So yeah, cool little knife. Um, I've, for Personally for me, for the T series, so the T4 and the T2, also this knife came out literally right when um, PewDiePie was Warring with T-Series on YouTube, and it's called the T-Series, and so it was hilarious seeing some of your guys' comments about this thing. <laughs> but uh, the T-Series has is always a little chunky for me, a little bit. Yeah, like a lot of utility. I like that the blades lock. Really, that is that is like uh, an up on most of these type of utility knives that you'll get in your pocket, like a Swiss Army knife. Um, so it is nice that they lock. It is nice that it's one-handed. I found that the Leatherman Free pliers are like, I'm a huge fan of the Leatherman Free pliers. Right. Um, so yeah. Uh, this is the Leatherman Free T4. Definitely small in stature this way, but definitely a thick boy. Um, thick boy. When we're talking that, when we're talking uh, width. So, cool, cool one from Owen Humphreys. Mr. Humphreys. Dude, that was a lot of knives. It's a whole lot. That was a lot of that was a lot of small EDC knives. If you guys are looking for a small EDC knife, this is definitely the video because we covered the gamut. For I sure. think so. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cool. Um, this is probably my favorite part of WoW. I think oh, my this favorite is part of well. hands down my favorite yeah. part. I just uh, wish I just wish I could enter. I know, right? Actually, my favorite part of WoW legitimately is like interacting with you guys live, um, and then having Alex text me. No, <laughs> that's probably my favorite part of WoW. Dude, my favorite part about being live is it's just off the cuff. Yeah, like I wish I could just come hang out with all of you guys right now. Like that's and that's what this is. Right, that's exactly. why I love it. Yeah, you yeah, get yeah. to see us and our personalities raw. It's cool. No, it's good. It's good. And uh, like we always say, this show is brought to you guys by We Knives. We love the people over at We Knives. Uh, they really are. They're great people. We were really bummed uh, that we that Blade Show didn't happen this year because we love seeing them at the at the different trade shows and everything like that. And um, they don't tell us what to say. They don't tell us what to put on the table. There's not even a We Knife on the table. There's a Civivi, but they're not even a We Knife on the table. Like we do what we want here, but what they do is they give us a knife to give away to you guys. And this month's is bonkers. I love it. Yeah, dude. This is the mini buster. This is the Snex mini buster knife. And this is what we're giving away. Uh, this is what we're giving away this month. This is an incredible, just a beautifully constructed knife. Exactly what you would expect from Wii Knives. Everything that you love there. And then also from Snex, Snex however you say his name, uh, the designer. So if you guys want to win this knife, there's going to be a link in the live chat. And there's going to be a link in the description. And uh, that link is only good for a short while, so you want to bounce over and get signed up to win this bad boy. And uh, that simple, just that simple. So you tuned in live, now you get a chance to win a sweet knife. Gosh, I wish that you guys could see this in person. It is It's so epic. beautiful. It's such a beautiful it's knife. It's epic. Um, yeah, from a great designer, from a great company, boom, go over and win that thing. So, And a huge shout out to Wii. Uh, they are just awesome. We love them. Heck yeah. Um, that's all we've got for this month's WoW. Let us know down in the comments what your favorite small EDC knives are. Even though we just did like 28 or 30 knives, I'm sure we missed a lot of your guys' favorites. So let us know down in the comments. That way people can go through the comments and they can read and they can get even more suggestions. We love being part of the knife community. You guys are all awesome. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.